In today's video, you will learn everything there is to know about the bathroom for your ADU. So hold on to your butts and get ready for a bunch of information. Let's go. Welcome back everybody. My name is Hector. If you're new to the channel, I talk about ADUs and very rarely I talk about real estate and I do real estate tours. Now, this particular video, I'm going to cover the bathroom. I'm gonna cover every single thing you have to do in order to pass every single inspection. There isn't anything special about building a bathroom for an ADU as long as you follow all those steps that the city inspector wants you to follow. If you do it that way, you're not gonna have a problem. In this video, I'm going to cover every single thing you have to do and if you do it right, you will pass the inspections and you will move on to the next step. Now, initially what you wanna do, and this has to be done right after they're done with the rough plumbing. You got the signature from the city inspector to do the framing. What you wanna do is you want to install the red guard. You can either install it in the entire garage or you can just install it in the sections where the framing is going to be. Why am I telling you this? Because the city inspector is gonna want the red guard to be installed underneath the pressure treated wood. That's step number one. I'm talking about building the bathroom from the very foundation all the way to the end. So once you have your red guard installed, they're gonna do the framing, and after the framing is done, then they're gonna do the plumbing for the bathroom. Now, once all the plumbing and the rough framing is done, the inspector will tell you to install the rough electrical. When they're doing the rough electrical, you want the electrician to install the fan Quick note about the fan, you need an HVAC permit for the fan. So whoever is doing your electrical would need to pull a permit for the HVAC fan that's gonna go into your bathroom. You won't pass the inspections without it. Your inspector will ask for that HVAC permit and then he will sign it off. So you need to install the fan, you need to install the duct. It could just be the accordion type. It doesn't have to be the cylinder type. That will be okay. That's what I have in my ADU. What's up guys? If you guys didn't already know, I'm a realtor and I help people buy and sell real estate. If you know somebody who's thinking about selling their house, let them know on average, I can help them save about $6,000 if they list their house with me. Thank you so much. Once the plumbing, the framing, the electrical, the HVAC, they're all done, then you have to install the insulation. Once the insulation is installed and you pass the insulation inspection, just remember for the walls is R15, for the ceiling most likely is R30. If you pass those inspections, the very next thing the inspector will tell you to do is cover everything up with shear walls. Now, I recommend to have the shear walls installed on the inside because you're gonna save a lot of money. Shear walls are installed. Once the shear walls are done and you pass that inspection, the inspector will give you the okay to start installing the drywall. For the bathroom, you need to install either purple drywall or green drywall that's mold resistant in the sections that are gonna have pipes behind them. That could be the sink and the toilet. Once the drywall is installed, you need to call for an inspection. The inspector is going to come in. He's going to make sure that whoever did the drywall installed it properly. Hopefully they did and you will pass that inspection. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't install the paste. If your contractor installs the drywall and the paste at the same time, and then they call for the inspector, the inspector is gonna be very upset because he wants to see the screws that they use to install the drywall. This is very important. It happened to me, we kind of covered them up and the inspector wasn't happy with what we did. He told me that uh, we got ahead of ourselves and I should have called them right after they installed the screws so he can inspect the screws. So all the inspections that the inspectors do are very tough and they have a purpose and I'm actually very happy that my inspector was very tough because that means that 
my ADU is built to last. Now, this very next section will only apply to some people and not to the others. If you pass your drywall inspection, the very next step is to do a hot mop. I have a walk-in shower and we had to do a hot mop on the bottom of the walk-in shower to make sure that it was waterproof. If you're just gonna go with a tub, you don't need a hot mop. That's why it applies to some, but not the others. If you're doing a, a walk-in shower, you will need a hot mop and you need a hot mop inspection. If you're just doing a tub, you put in the tub, party back, and that's it. Now, going back to the hot mop. The hot mop, it's another company involved in this whole process. If you live in the San Fernando Valley, there's a guy that I use to do my hot mop. It has the inspections. His number will be on the website. And what you're gonna go through with a hot mop inspection is very easy. The hot mop guy is going to come in. He's obviously going to hot mop it. And once that is dry, he plugs it, he fills it up with water, and then you call the inspector. The inspector comes in, he wants to make sure that the water is still there, and if it's still there, you pass the inspection, he will sign it off and tell you to go to the very next step. Now, if you pass your hot mop inspection, the very next thing your contractor is going to do is he's going to install waterproof paper in top of the shear walls. He installs that all the way around and right in top of that he's going to install the hardy back which is a cement board and that's where the tile is going to be whoever is doing the hardy back work has to use very special screws they have to be water resistant or mold resistant screws now after they install the hardy back then you guessed it, another inspection. The inspector is gonna come in and make sure that you use the right screws. And if you did, he will sign off on the hardy back and then he will tell you to install the tile. So most likely when they're doing the hardy back, the drywall is going to be finished. And right after that, this may apply to some people, it may, may not apply to others. I did it because I'm converting a garage to a livable space and obviously the garage was not leveled the way a house would. So we used a self-leveling material in the bathroom section. So when they installed the tile on top of it, it was gonna be leveled and you were not gonna have tiles that were gonna be off or used a lot of material in order to level the tiles. So we used a self-leveling material. They poured it overnight. It dried off, I think in 24 hours. And then after that, they installed the tile. There was no inspection for the tile. When we finished installing the drywall, we passed the last drywall inspection. The city inspector basically told us, complete the project, install your kitchen, install the tile, and call me back when everything is done. We finished the entire bathroom, we installed the kitchen, make sure that everything was done properly. And right after that, he came back. I'm gonna make another video about the little finishing details that we had to do in order to get our final inspection approved. But basically, that's how it goes. You finish the drywall, the inspector will tell you, don't call me back until everything is done, bathroom is completed, water is working, lights are on, so on and so forth. Now, the part that everybody is waiting for, the part that people only care about, how much did I pay for something like this? My cost was 3,600, and that basically included the installation of the hardy back, the leveling of the floors, the installation of all the tile, and having my contractor install the vanity and the toilet and all the little finishes that go in between. So basically he delivered a completed project for 3,600. Obviously I pay for the materials myself and I pay for all the little things or the little tools that involved with putting the bathroom together. The things that I had to buy in materials were the tile. The tile was $1,200 and that's tile for the floors and for the walls. The vanity I got from Ikea that was 250. The shower fixture, I bought it online. I think I bought it on Amazon. That was 209. The toilet, I bought it at Home Depot. It was 109. The faucet for the sink, Home Depot, 49 bucks. The hardy bag, all the materials, all the paste, all the little things in between. I spent about $600. So overall on materials, nice finishes, I spent 2416 putting it all together the labor 
and the really nice finishes. The total cost was 6,266 for a bathroom that another company would have charged $10,000 or possibly even, you know, $12,000. So 3,600 in labor is not a bad deal. I would say the average is between 3,600 to $5,000. Now, I'm gonna go in a little bit of a rant right now. If you call somebody on Yelp or one of those crazy websites, HouseBuzz or something like that, they're gonna come in and they're gonna give you a quote for about $10,000. And that's, in my opinion, way overpriced. What they're gonna do is they're gonna hire a subcontractor that's gonna do the work for about five or four thousand dollars, and you're still gonna have to pay for all your amenities, all your final touches, your tile, and they're just gonna pocket six thousand dollars for basically doing nothing. And another thing, what gets me very angry is when I talk to a contractor or I hear a contractor say, you know what, luxury finishes are gonna be something else and it's gonna be more expensive, right? More expensive. Or luxury finishes unless you're having tile installed from Italy that takes a very special cut to install in a very special process the overall labor is labor it's gonna take the same amount of energy to install a tile that's one dollar and a tile that's you know twelve dollars per square foot which is the tile that I bought Now, after all that explaining, let me give you a tour of my bathroom in my ADU. 